thanks for stopping my Pete's Garage. Well, today we're going to talk about tools again, and we're going to talk about scopes, smart scopes, endoscopes, boroscopes, and I have a couple to review with you. First, full disclosure, I told you guys occasionally companies send things for me to review, and when I find something that's really cool, I like to share it with you and tell you how you can get it. So this company sent me this uh, inspection camera by Vantru. They also make the uh, dash cams, but they sent me two of these things, not only one, but two, and the good thing about that is I have one that I'm going to be reviewing and we're going to be going through it, but the second one, at the end of this video, I'll tell you how you can win this one. This is a really nice unit and uh, it's a good value and at the end of the video I'll tell you how you can enter to win the second one. So first we're going to talk about the inspection camera by Vantru and then we're going to talk about a smart cam. Now this is a smart cam from Oxbeam and they're very similar. They do similar things, but each one has its own benefit depending on what you're going to do. So let's take a closer look. Okay, first we have the Vantru GL8810 inspection camera. It comes in a very nice carrying case. And this is a self-contained unit. You can carry it around and use it virtually anywhere. It features the 4.3 inch uh, screen size, so it's a, it's a color screen built right in. Uh, it has a digital zoom 1.5 and 2.0. The probe that goes with the camera on has a, it's an 8mm probe and the color display is 640 by 480 okay now the cool things about this first of all it's powered by four AA batteries in the back and here's the features we'll turn it on and whoops wrong I'm looking at it upside down okay turn it on the screen comes on and looks a lot better than uh, than you can see on the camera I'll try and do the best I can well right now it's looking up at me interesting so anyway uh, good camera, uh, and the, here's the features of this. First we have this on top is a, uh, this button here gives us a, that's the power button. This button here gives us a brightness level. Now you can't really see that, so I'll put my finger in front of it, and there's a light on the end of the scope here. And as you can see my finger there as I turn it on, you can see the brightness brighten up. So we got a brightness on the camera itself. We also have a rotation. So let's say you put something in, uh, looking for something and you have it upside down, you can rotate. Uh, here's our uh, zoom, 1.5, 2.0 zoom right there. We also have a uh, screen contrast control so you can get your contrast. And here's the rotation. So let's say you put it in there and it's crooked. You can ro digitally rotate 90 degrees every time you push the button, which is really pretty cool. Now, uh, the other thing is it has a video output. So if you want to take a video output here to a bigger screen, you can go and, and uh, use this to a, a larger screen with an output. And here is the actual lens itself or the scope. And this is really pretty cool. Works like a clamshell. You simply push these two things on the back. It opens up like that, James Bond style, and your scope comes out. And this is roughly, I'm going to say this whole thing is, let's say, uh, it's like 30 inches. So it's actually pretty pretty long. You can get into some very deep uh, crevices. I've already used it in a few different places and I'll show you that real quick. Okay, and then when you're done you just simply wind it back up and put it back in there and lock it back closed. I'm just going to shut this off just for now. Okay, it comes with some pretty cool accessories that I knocked around here. Um, there's a little sleeve that you can put on the camera. And the accessories that it comes with, first of all, it comes with, which is really handy, this hook. So if you're looking down and you're trying to retrieve something, there's a hook where you can reach in and grab something. A mirror. Now this is really small, and it's made for the end of the camera. So when I put this in the sleeve, And then I put the sleeve on the camera. Boy, if that wasn't difficult. Okay, so you got this little, little uh, mirror you put on here. And what that'll do for you is allow you to look 90 degrees. So let me, let me turn this back on. If I turn it back on, so now you can see the mirror. See that you're looking at the mirror. And if I put my finger over here, 90 degrees, I can see my finger so if you're looking down a hole and you need to see 90 degrees you got a mirror you can put on the end. The hook is really neat but I think this is the uh, valuable one right here a magnet a nice magnet you can put on here 
So if you drop a bolt in your intake manifold and you don't want to pull it all apart, you can take this scope, put the, the uh, magnet on here, and this thing locks on here pretty good so you don't drop it down there. So now I have a magnet on my, on my scope. And if I turn it on, the nice thing is you can see the magnet on the end of the scope. See the magnet right here? So you see the magnet on there and you can look around, you can grab whatever you're trying to get out of wherever it is. Let's, let's use this real quick. And uh, uh, the other thing about this, first of all, the inspection camera. This is an inspection camera, which means it doesn't, there's no buttons on here to capture images. So you're just using this for inspection purposes only. You're not going to use this to uh, take pictures or do anything like that. So it's not a camera, it is a scope only. Let's go, uh, let me go stick this down the uh, intake of the engine so you can see how well this works. All right, now what I'm trying to do is look inside the engine here. I have my uh, butterfly open with a screwdriver, like everybody usually does. And I have my camera ready to roll. And I'm gonna, what I want to do is I'm going to try and look down the intake here, down and look into the uh, intake runner, see if I can see the intake valve. So we're going to take a journey here into the engine. So we first we get here. There's our butterfly. And... Now here we are in the intake manifold, and here is the parting line between the parting line between the cylinder head and I'll hold this closer. See if I can get this get this to work. This is not as easy as it looks to do both at the same time. Let me redo this a little bit. Okay, here is the parting line between the cylinder head and the intake manifold, and we go a little bit further. And there is our intake valve. And if you're looking at it at a different angle, you want to change it. Again, you have the rotation where you can rotate it so you can see from different angles. And there we have, let me see if I can get it. Of course, it's not super easy when you're doing both at once, right? But at least I can see my intake valve. And there's my intake. At least there's the, the intake valve stem, at least, and the bronze bushing guide. Now, if I put my camera on there, or I'm sorry, the mirror on there, I'd be able to look down at the valve itself. And then if I, I don't know if I push this further. Let's see what happens. I don't know if I can get it to bend any further. I have to figure out what that is, clean that out, which is pretty good. I'm glad I did this because now I can see what is in there. I can almost see the valve there. If I put the mirror on there, I'd be able to see the valve. So that's pretty cool. Now, as I'm doing this, you can see that all I'm doing is inspecting. I'm not able to do any, taking any pictures, I'm not able to do anything else with it. But, if I look on top of the engine, let's say you drop something inside, you can easily look underneath. I'll hold this a little closer so you can see. You can look underneath, and you can see uh, inside areas. If I go, you were looking down, you're looking for a bolt inside, I can look down next to my cylinder head. Look down near the distributor. So you can you can do a lot of stuff with this. It's really pretty cool. If you're looking, if you're looking for a leak, that'd be a good idea if you're looking for a leak. So that's what this one does. Let's go take a look at the other one. Next we have our smart cam from Augsbeam, and this is very similar to differences. This one has to be plugged into either a PC or an Android phone using this USB. This USB is pretty cool. It's a two-in-one. So you either have a USB connector here, or I flip this up, and it plugs into your phone. That was pretty cool. That's a pretty neat feature. Now the difference, as you can see, I don't have a screen. i got to plug it into my phone or, or PC. Uh, this one has a high-definition camera, so it's a little high-definition. When you hook it up to your PC, it's got six LEDs in the camera end. So this has six LEDs for brightness, uh, and it's waterproof, just like the other one is. Uh, this one is interesting because... I have here the 5.5 millimeter one. It also comes in a 7 millimeter and an 8 millimeter tip. And this comes 2 meter. I have the 2 meter one, which is just over 6.5 feet, 5 meter, and 10 meter. So you can get over 50 feet long with this thing, which is pretty cool. Um, I downloaded the software on my PC, and let's go and use this one. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to tell you. This one also comes with accessories. This one also has a mirror. A 90 degree mirror, 90 degree view mirror, and this one, see the mirror in there, 
This simply goes on the end of the camera just like that. Uh, this one also has a sleeve, so you have the hook. You can put a sleeve on there, this sleeve right here. So you put the sleeve on, and you would also have a hook, and it also has a magnet that you can use to reach in as you're getting things. So they both have the same thing. It's a pretty strong magnet, too. I picked up some pretty big bolts with it. Now we can go use it. So let's do the same thing here. I have the camera plugged into the USB jack. My laptop sitting on top of the engine, and the light comes on as soon as you plug in the USB. So let's take the same journey. I'll zoom in on the screen so you can see. Now when you, when you start this up, or when you plug this in, you have to start the software. And the software opens the screen, and you can see right away I have, have a small screen here, but if you want to look bigger, you can look at it bigger. So you get a bigger screen, so you can look at it whatever you want. But let's take the same journey we took with the other one. Let's go down the engine and see if we can see the intake valve, or at least the intake valve stem, and the, um, the guide. So we go inside the intake here. Inside the manifold, there's our parting line between the cylinder head and the intake manifold. And as we get down here, patience is the key. All right, there's our there's our intake valve stem and the guide and it takes a little bit of maneuvering well there's interesting right there was the that was the um, just saw the uh, there's the injector port and there we go there's our uh, there's our intake valve stem and the and the guide go a little closer all right now just just to make things easy for us so I don't spend time screwing around with this I'm just going to take this off of here and I'll, I'll just take a look at a fastener so you can see if I hold this still if I rotate this I can rotate the camera for direction all right. Now let's say I see something there. I'm, I'm with a. I want to show a customer a problem, or you, you want to keep track of something. I can take this, and I can take a picture. As soon as I take a picture there, I have a, a picture of what I just was just looking at. Or you can hit the video function, and if I hit OK, now I'm starting to capture video. So if you want to watch something function, or you're looking for a leak, I'll go down by the manifold here. Let's say you're looking for a leak. You can have it on video and capture the video. Go back and watch it if you want. You just turn the video mode off and it stops capturing video. And here we are back to our live feed. And uh, either way, I think the smaller screen gives you better resolution. Obviously, when you, when you make a bigger screen, you lose resolution. But that works pretty cool. That's how this one works. With this one, you can also use it as a, with your phone. So you download the app for your phone, and you take your USB connector, and when you flip this up, like that, this would plug right into your phone. So you can use your phone for the same kind of thing. You can see it is a little, a little bulkier. you got this big thing in here, and you're trying to, trying to hold all this stuff. And then you're trying to use the camera at the same time, so I'm trying to hold my phone. But you can do uh, take video, and you can take pictures at the same time. Just like you do with your computer, only to use your ca your uh, ca uh, your phone for that. So it makes it does make it portable. All right, so there we have the two: the Van True Inspection Camera and the Aux Beam Smart Cam. I'll put links to both of these in the description of the video. So if you'd like to check them out, you can go check them out anytime you like. This one costs uh, twenty-one bucks. This one is eighty bucks. Okay, big difference, but they do different things. They both come with similar accessories. This one, very portable, has its own screen, it's, uh, uh, it's a self-contained unit, you can carry it around, has a video output, very, very handy. This one, you got to hook it up to a PC or your phone, but you have the ability to capture pictures, capture video, uh, it's a little more 
portable, so to speak, and you can get it with longer cables. So depending on what you're doing, you might want to use one. I, even though this is more expensive and it's not as, uh, I don't know, let's say flexible, not flexible, but more adaptable to different scenarios, I think I like this one more because you just put it in your pocket or your toolbox, you pull it out, and you can look, inspect anything. So this one is a little bit more my style, but you can, you can hook it up to your phone, you can carry this one with you, and it's a lot easier to, to use, hook it up to your phone. Now, if you want to win this thing, I'm going to give this one away, $80 value. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to ask a question, and first of all, you have to answer the question right, and I'm only going to give, give this away to someone who's a subscriber. So if you're not a subscriber, click on subscribe right now so you can enter to win this, uh, this inspection camera. And now I'm going to ask a question, you have to get the answer right. If you watch my videos, I talk a lot about fasteners and fastening. And here's the question you have to answer right. Just leave your comment below. and It only has to be one word. The answer is one word. And here's the question. If you have a torque to yield fastener, what do you have to do to that fastener to achieve maximum clamp load? All right? A torque to yield fastener, what do you have to do to achieve maximum clamp load? What's the difference between that and a regular one? can be one word, two words, doesn't have to be that much. Now, if you want to enter more than once, this is what we're going to do. If you don't know, every time someone subscribes to a YouTube channel, whenever you subscribe to a YouTube channel, whoever owns that channel gets a notification or an email that says, 1971 Chevy Dan just subscribed to your channel. So I get a notification. And I also have a list of subscribers, so I, I know who's a subscriber. So um, when, you get, when you sign up, I get a notification. So if you want to enter more than once is what you can do. Go to your car club forums, all your social media, your car groups, whatever. Find as many people as you can. Tell them to come to this channel or watch this video so you can copy a link. Go on top and copy the, the URL for this video. Send it to all your friends and tell them, hey, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to Priest Garage, and then what they need to do is go in the comment section of this video, like the video, then, in the comments section, tell them to leave your screen name. So let's say your screen name is um, 1970 Chevelle Dave. Tell your friend, whose name is Driftin' Dude 85 He's going to come here, subscribe to the channel, so I know he's subscribed, like the video, and then he leaves your name on the, in the comments section. If he's a real friend, he'll leave your name. He won't try to answer the question and bring more people in, but have him, have him leave your name anyway. So this is what we'll do. The person who gets the first, you have to answer the question right. For, person who gets the question right and gets the most subscribers, you get this one, $80. Whoever answers a question right, everybody who answers a question right, I will uh, enter everyone to get the smart cam. I'll give both of them away. Um, and obviously, I'm not going to give them both to the same person. So if you win this one, you're not going to get the little one. Unless you want it. Maybe I'll email and say which one do you want. So that's what you do. Sub get, get subscribers. Have them leave your screen name and answer the question right. Answer the question right. You'll be in the drawing for this one. These are really cool things. And if you've been following along, I'm a, I'm a tech guy. I love technology and I love little the gadgets like this that make your job a little easier. Make your life a little easier, especially when you're working on cars. I hope that helps you out. Check out the links. Check out the products. Answer the question, get some subscribers, and win some free stuff. I told you earlier this year I got a bunch of stuff to give away. These companies send me all kinds of stuff, and I'm going to give them one all the way to you. So, like the video, leave your comment. Thanks for stopping by Peace Garage.